I'm not a big fan of Dancing with the Stars. I don't know if I'm going to watch it because Carol Baskin is on it, but uh, she's now talking about being on Dancing with the Stars. I think the list came out a couple days ago. Uh, we talked a little bit about it earlier. Um, but now she's uh, she's talking about you know bringing attention to uh, her cause. Well, Tiger King really glamorized animal abusers and villainized me for trying to stop animal abuse, and so I felt really betrayed by that. The biggest thing for me is that the longer my partner and I can stay in the running and in the competition, it will keep the cat's forefront in the viewer's eye. And to me, that was where Tiger King missed the ball. That's that's a nice spin, uh, I but, think, but I think like people the, are more interested in what happened to your husband. Nobody can find, uh, uh, and I think the longer you're on the show, the more people are going to talk yeah. about this guy that was in your life that just disappeared. Yeah, that there's rumors that you fed him to your cats. A lot of murderers like to create diversions. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I'm not saying that she did it. I'm not saying we she don't didn't know. do it. I'm just saying a lot of murderers like to create diversions, and that sounded like a diversion to me. Like, oh, it did injustice. I mean, did it really do injustice? Did it, did it glamorize? I mean, did, at any moment, did you look at those tigers that were at Joe Exotic's place or with that Jeff guy? And you're thinking, man, those are some lucky tigers. <laughs> did you ever at any point in time during that? Yeah. Watch that, man. Or the ones that are even with Carol, for that matter. Mm -hmm. You're like, you're like. Man, those are some lucky tigers to be not be in the wild and be in captivity. <laughs> Caged up, all fighting over one piece of meat. Right. You never thought that in your heart of hearts. So I'm not saying that I walked away from Lion King going, man, that really glamorized the captivity of tigers. In fact, if anything, all it did was open everybody's eyes to like, oh, God, poor tigers. got to feel bad for them. It's kind of like, um, you know, if you watch Dateline or any of these shows where they're investigating a murder and they have a suspect and, you know, the person just keeps, you know, calling up the police station because they have more evidence or they have more information. It's just the more you talk to them, mm -hmm. the more they realize there's something going on. So is it in her best interest for her cat compound or whatever she calls that uh, for the better interest of the uh, of the tigers? to to continue to go on a show but if she did nothing wrong then there's then you know it's whatever i mean it is what it is if she did nothing wrong but it, see, it sure feels like nobody really believes her they just don't have any evidence and the more you keep yourself in the in the spotlight the more people are going to start digging around and uh, we'll have to see what happens i just this is not i'm not going to watch Dancing with the Stars. I never started watching. Did you ever watch Dancing with the Stars? I mean, I'm not going to say I didn't stop on it. And uh, you did. So you did watch. Dancing I've watched. I've. I mean, but I have nothing seems I, more boring to me in my life than Dancing with the Stars. Well, I mean, I realize it's tough because I'm a I'm a terrible dancer. I can't dance, and you know, I think I when I've had a few uh, cocktails, I I'm a, I'm a pretty good dancer. And then my wife tells me when, the next day, like, "Wow, you really need to calm down on the dance floor. You're you're a little wild." So I get the, the the technical part of dancing. Yes, so I have stopped on it. Do I watch the show? Do I know anybody's name on the show? No. Um, I just I find like like it is amazing to me. You just said this is the twenty ninth season. Is that what you said? No, no. I I don't know what season of Dancing with the Stars. The fact it is. that it's gotten up to twenty nine is mind boggling. If it is indeed twenty nine, I, I don't know. Uh, because when that show first came out. There was not as much content available to us. Now I'm watching like I'm, I'm watching something called Pluto TV, and they've got a this old house marathon, and I find myself watching that for hours. You know, I mean, how is ABC able to justify oh, Dancing with the Stars? I mean, they must have one hell of a sales team at ABC because they go out, and they sell, they sell sponsorships and advertising to a show in which B to C to D list celebrities. Try their hand at dancing, and it's an old formula that has been around for the better part of two decades now. I think it's a lack of creativity to come up with new shows because I think they hold on to shows. For example, Tom Bergeron has been outed or outsed or fired or let go oh, or I not thought, rehired. I thought you not had outed. A, I thought you had a big announcement. No, there. that was not the right <laughs> that word. I was sorry. Not expecting. <laughs> Oh,
It's the end of the summer, and that's marked by Labor Day. A lot of people may have forgotten that it's end of summer because we don't know what day. It's like time stopped in March, but it did not stop at Pass Robles Ford. They've been moving along throughout the whole process. No, you're right, Jeff. I mean, it feels like, did this summer really come? It feels like it was almost a, a dream, or some people would say a nightmare. It's just, it's gone by so fast, and here we are staring at fall. And uh, Paso Robles Ford wants you to know that, you know, Labor Day's a big day in the car business, and they're ready. Uh, they've got more used and brand new trucks, certified pre-owned trucks, uh, and SUVs, and they have thousands of dollars in factory rebates, and they're offering discounts beyond even traditional Labor Day savings. So what you typically would get, you're going to get better. We've been saying this for weeks, for months. I mean, if you're looking for a new vehicle, if you've never owned a brand new vehicle, there is no better time than right now to go to Pastor Robles Ford. Labor Day savings on top of factory incentives, dealership incentives, and consumer incentives make it the perfect storm for you to buy a vehicle now. And uh, even though we've moved on to a new season, or soon we'll move on to a new season, it doesn't mean that they're not sticking with what has worked throughout the pandemic. You can yeah. make an appointment. They can bring a car out to you. You can stop by, make that appointment, and give them a call. They'll come to you. If you have anxiety in your life already, let Paso Robles Ford help bring some joy to you and your family as the summer draws to a close. Go to PasoFord.com to make an appointment or just check out all their great inventory. Metallica, s and 2, with the San Francisco Symphony. Do your best, James Hetfield. We're going to give you these downloads. Over two and a half hours of music, 20 tracks. Who's this? Karen. Hey, how are you doing today? Great. Are you a big Metallica fan? Yes, I am. All right, so what we need you to do is do your best, James Hetfield. All right? And what we're doing is we're using cliches. And if you don't have a cliche that you like to use on a regular basis, I can give you one. Give me one. All right. How about opposites attract? Now you got to. Opposites s- attract. Yeah, you got it. That's how you do it. <laughs> Sounded sound a lot like Paul Abdul. <laughs> 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 All right. Hold on the line. You're a winner. You are a winner. We're going to give you this uh, real quick. Uh, hi. Good morning. What is your name? Chris. Hey, Chris. All right. So you got to do your best James Hetfield impression for us, and we'll give you the download. It's over two and a half hours of music. Just a cliche. Whatever cliche you want to use, buddy. If if you don't have one, I can give you one. If you have one, go for it. I think I've got one. All right, go for it, buddy. All that glitters is gold dye. That was good. That's a good one right there. Right on, man. You're a winner. (laughs) Good job. All right, hold on the line. We'll get you all set to go. You could only eat one meat the rest of your life. What would it be? We broke it down to beef, chicken, pork, and fish. I don't we know were in agreement on, on the pork um, standpoint with fish kind of being second place. But I, for me, it's a distant second place because there's a lot of variables that come into play. Cost is one of the variables that come into play. Um, and what are those people called? Pescatarians? Yes. Um, I believe that is correct. People that only eat fish? I believe you're right. Or, and, and vegetables, but the only meat that they eat. Yeah, a pescatarian, I think, just eats What fish. is a pork? If I were to only eat pork, <laughs> pigitarian, pigitarian, hungitarian, uh, beef, chicken, pork, fish. It, it surprises me when I first look at this, and nobody I see said, that nobody said beef. That chicken was in the early lead, and now it is uh, now taking a back seat to. Uh, oh no, no, it's tied up with pork. All right, so pork and chicken are in the lead. Nobody has said beef. Yeah, fish is getting the other uh, third of the vote, and. Um, but it's it trails both at twenty percent. So so then it's not a third of the vote. It's so it's a lot less than a third of the vote. I can't read this because the screen is so small. Yeah, fish is getting twenty. Where are your readers, bro? Uh, well, Either. it's not a third, but it takes up the other piece of the pie. Sorry. Yes. The other third piece of the pie? I don't know. If you had two pieces of the pie, and whatever. The smaller piece of the pie. Yeah. Chicken, really? I Could somebody text in or call us I, and tell us why chicken would be the way they would go? Well, I could tell you this right now. When Chicken is so bland. When it's think, like the last thing I ever ordered at a restaurant. When thinking about it, I was, I was going back and forth between chicken and pork, only because of cost and versatility. You can do a lot of things with chicken. A lot of things with chicken. What can you do with chicken that you can't do with pork? 
I mean, I guess you don't deep fry chicken. I mean, you, I mean, you do deep fry chicken. You don't deep fry pork. But you could. You could bread it and pork it. Jeez, what is wrong with my I've never, I've never had pork nuggets. <laughs> you can't pork it. <laughs> Hold on a second. I need some coffee. Yeah, you can deep fry pork. Well, it's like we were talking about earlier. I was, I brought up that uh, pork chop at Giuseppe's that they I do know, Parmesan know, style. They bread I, it and deep fry it. You say you amazing. deep fry pork, but I've never had pork nuggets. Okay? I don't know if that would be good. Why wouldn't you? It's a white meat, just like chicken. It's the other white meat. I'm not sure that would don't be Don't overcook good. it. Burger King, can you get on that? Pork nuggets, please. Why doesn't somebody like. do pork nuggets? It could know. be a home run. I don't know. Think about it. There's more it. fat. Okay. I would love it. So chicken nuggets are usually made with white breast meat, correct? Mm-hmm. So if you took pork meat and it's got a little bit more fat in it and it's still very similar, it might be even better. Cooks up quicker? Unless it's overcooked. But even white meat, when you overcook it, is dry and it's no good. Pork nuggets, plus the breading should hold it in. Plus, let's face it, chicken nuggets aren't really chicken anyways. So it's like it's like chicken pieces and liquefied and uh, some kind of batter that they use. Oh, you thing. don't have to say it and like then, that. And That's... then they, they bread anyways. Uh, Patrice writing in on the 805 line. She says, hey, pork eaters are swinos. Swinos. I like okay. that. That's like better. That. That's better than a porker. I like I'm that. I'm a swino. So, um, yeah. And then I'm trying to, chicken strips is good, but you can do pork strips. Could you do pork strips? Yeah. Can you do, uh. Can you do pork strips? Can you do pulled uh, chicken? How come I've never like seen pork? pork strips on a menu anywhere? Because I would order them. I would order pork strips. No bra expert I, writes in and says, what about Chinese food? Pork's way better in Chinese food than it is. Yes. Can't do sweet and sour. Dude. You can do sweet and sour chicken, but it's not as good as sweet and sour Anytime somebody pork. says, I'll take the chicken fried rice, I'm like, why? When you could take the pork fried rice. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> What's your problem? <laughs> Like, why would you opt for the chicken fried rice when you can have the pork fried rice? It tastes so much better. I think better. we just made the argument for pork over chicken. 805-543-3693. Hi, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, yeah, uh, out there in uh, Maricopa on the way to Bakersfield at that gas station, they have uh, they do uh, the deep fried pork shops out there like chicken strips. They're bomb. Really? In Maricopa, on the way to Bakersfield, there's a gas station that, that sells shell station. pork strips. Yep. Whoa, okay. whoa, whoa. Are you talking the one right there at the stop sign? Yeah, you have to go past the stop sign. You have to go straight to Old River Road. Yeah, yeah. It's right before you get death. into the oil fields and all the ag, right? Yeah. I mean, I stop there all the time. Yeah. And, but I've never yeah. bought any food. I've just peed there or bought pork seeds. Pork strips. Oh, gotta get pork strips. Yeah, you got to go in there and get the, the breaded pork chops. Now, you know me. Oh. Bomb. All right, thank you. You know me. When I had right, that cool. direction, I, I always take the 46, but now I think I might take the 66. I mean, you're just taking so, your hand in your life, just, just, your life in your hands. Hey, but God, I've I never am, had pork strips. I want to say I've had pork strips before I die. Am I, I just got to get there. Am I having a stroke right now? I cannot get two words out. Is my face doing anything funny? No, you're fine. This is just me. This is just a regular Thursday. As I don't look at you, <laughs> you're fine. Why won't you look at me? What's wrong with looking at me? Because I don't like looking at you. I don't like making eye contact Jeff with people. Jeff sits four feet from me, but he won't look at me. I gotta, he give, rarely will turn his head for a second, and I then it's awkward he turns away. There. Fred, I agree. One word, bacon. Yeah, that's what I was saying no, earlier. Yeah, you yeah. just bacon, can't. Sausage, How could you give up bacon forever? Of... Or pork belly, which is even better bacon because it's the fatty, and if it's done right. See, I say, okay, chicken is versatile, but it's nowhere near as versatile as, as pork. If they could only mass-produce pork. Pork nuggets and pork strips, which I guess we've got to talk to the people at the gas station, the stop sign in Maricopa, in order to do so and find out who their supplier is. <laughs> I love it. I lo- Maybe that's fresh Maricopa swine. What do you swine. dip pork strips into? Barbecue sauce? Yeah. Yeah, I could do that. Even hot sauce? Like pork cracklings? Mm. Yeah. Sriracha hot sauce? Whatever. Ranch? Ranch goes with everything. Anyways, 805-543, you can chime in. You can also vote in the poll question, brought to you by SurfNet Communications, over 15 years of experience, faster than DSL and dial-up. SurfNet Communications, the link at KZOZ.com. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning.